गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक इन टू द नदर सेशन ऑफ सी एस जीरो सेवन डेटा स्ट्रक्चर यूजिंग प्रोग्रामिंग इन सी एज ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्टेक विच इज़ इन यूनिट नंबर थ्री एज अ फर्स्ट टॉपिक वी हैव गोन थ्रू द थियोरिटिकल पार्ट ऑफ द एंटायर कॉन्सेप्ट then we have look after the various algorithms of different operation which stack have like push operation pop operation peep operation and update operation apart from all this operation we have started implementing the program for the same and covered the discussion of two operation that is called as push and pop now it's time to go for the discussion of another two operation that is peep and update so let's start with the same before going ahead by taking the reference of my previous lecture this entire program is based on multi choice selection so in this program i have used switch case which is the concept of programming in c where i have designed a one menu which contains total six operation uh, options option number 1 is push option number 2 is pop option number 3 is pip option number 4 is update and the last two options are display and exit this particular program continuous till user has not selected the option number 6 so let's imagine one menu is there on to the screen and we have inserted some values using the operation called push the values which i have inserted using the push operation are 5 4 1 0 and two so these are the five values which i have inserted into the stack limitation of the program which i have written is that it can accept five values only which you can increase or decrease by defining the size of a global variable that is called as size so these are the values where 5 is the first value and 2 is the last value which i have inserted now from menu i have selected the choice number 3 so as per the selection of choice case number 3 is selected from the switch statement as indicated in this case first it will print onto the screen pip operation is selected that means it indicates the user that you have selected a pip operation then there is a function call as you can see into the function call this is an udf which consist of function without argument without return value and sorry function without argument with return value so the function called pip has been called from this selected line and program jump over here where the pip function is initialized what is the purpose of pip operation pip operation displays the value which is stored on a desired location or it fetch the value which is stored on a particular location which has been entered by the user so this function initialization starts with the declaration of two variable that is i and comma pip element these are the two local variables then enter the location of value which you want to pip that means it indicates the user that please enter the location on which you want to 
uh, from which you want to uh, retrieve the values. So, in variable called i, location is going to be stored. Now, let us revise the value which have which we have stored. 5 is stored on location number 0, that means data 0 contains 5, data 1 contains 4, data 2 contains 1, data 3 contains 0 and data 4 contains 2. So, this 5 values are stored from 0 to 4 location. Now, suppose over here, uh, let me write this location over here for knowing it better. 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, over here that means at this particular scanf statement, suppose I am entering the location number 3. So, that location number 3 is going to be stored inside the variable called i. Now, at that particular time, one decision making statement checks a one condition. If top of the stack minus i plus 1 is less than 0, that means it will check this third location whether it is positive or negative. If it founds that particular location as a negative value, then it set the value of flag and pipped element as a 0 and returns into the case statement where I have mentioned a one logical line that value is not founded into the stack and stack is under flow. But if the location is present, that means if this decision making statement is false, it goes into the else statement, value of flag is set as a 1 and into the local variable called pipped element. It retrieves the location uh, sorry, it search for the location number 3 first, it retrieves the value of location number 3 and stored inside the pipped underscore element variable. So, as per the location value on a third location is 0. So, this 0 is going to be stored inside the pipped element and that variable is written by this statement. Whatever the value is written, it is going to be written into the at the function called area and stored inside the variable called data. Then, the display function is called and that display function will display that particular value onto the screen. So, in this way, pip element works. Next operation is an operation of update. Update operation is based on pip element. That means, first we have to search for the specific value which we want to replace. Update operation means, it is an operation which first search for the specific value and then it replace that value with newer one. So, say for example, over here user has entered the option number 4 called update. Now, op option number 4 which selects update operation by default it selects case number 4. Update operation selected message is going to be displayed onto the screen. Then update function is called same decision making statement is over there like pip statement. So, I am not going to repeat it. As the update operation is selected, it declares the two variable that is i and comma updated element which is similar like a pip operation. Then there is a message enter the location of value which you want to update. 
say for example suppose i am entering a location number 3 is over 3 over here so old value on location number 3 is 0 this decision making statement becomes false as 3 is available into the stack so program goes into the else statement in else statement first it set the temporary variable of called flag is equals to 1 and it displays the message possible now it's time to enter the new element which we want to update so suppose i am entering 9 over here whatever the value i enters over here passed into the stack element and it has been replaced by this logical line called stack top of the stack minus i plus 1 is equals to updated element that means what it does 0 is going to be replaced by new value which is called as 9 on location number 3. So, this was all about the logical implementation of stack using one dimensional array and UDF. So, first write down the definition of this program, write a program to implement stack operation simple keep it off a single line write a program to implement stack operations remember that we have implemented all the stack operation using the one dimensional array concept and various types of UDF so now just pause your video and write down all these logical lines which i have selected that means starting from hash include stdio.h to update write down all this line we'll wait for a one minute just pause your video and write down all these logical lines fine this is the sufficient time now again pause your video and write down the logical lines from display to this get ch function write down the logical line by pausing the video from display to get ch fine again pause the video and write down the logical line from this break statement to the selected printf statement i repeat just pause your video write down all the lines from break statement to the selected printf statement fine again pause the video write down the logical lines from 
this printf statement called a stack is under flow 2 case number 5 label of case number 5 Okay. Again pause the video and write down the remaining lines from this opening bracket to flag is equals to 0. Okay. Again pause the video and write down the logical lines from this closing bracket to this opening bracket. Fine. Again pause the video and write down the remaining lines which starts from integer i to this closing bracket. I hope this is a little bit long program but this is the smallest program that we are going that we will discuss in future total 193 logical lines we have to digest for this code that's why i have divided the entire program into the two section where the first section was taken by uh, was taken in last lecture and the remaining uh, session we have completed in this lecture so i hope all of you have written this selected line of code I request all the students write down every words properly then and then you can see the proper output onto the screen. Anyways, let's move on. So as per the syllabus in unit number 3. we have completed with the first linear data structure that is called as a stack. What we have done into the stack? Let us take a quick look in this. We have discussed about the definition of stack then we have go then we have discussed about the various operation of stack we have implemented all that all that stack operation using array in this operation we have learned that how to insert elements that is number into the stack then we have learned how to delete elements from the stack that means we have learned about the push operation then we have learned about the pop operation then we have learned about how can we display 
the various number onto the screen that is display operation. Now in stack we can also implement the same operation using pointer also. There is no rule that we can implement the operation of stack using only the array. We can also implement all this operation using pointer also. But as far as the complexity of pointer is there, it's easy to implement stack operation using array even it is little bit easy to understand all that operation using one dimensional array. In examination, obviously in Savras University examination, generally they ask the part of this entire program. That means they can ask a program like this, write a program to implement push operation with display or they can ask write a program to implement push, pop and display operation something like this. Now as I indicated you we can implement the stack operation using pointer also. So, whenever we implement the operation of stack using pointer at that particular time, we have to go for another concept which is called as recursion of the stack. Recursion means what? Whenever function call to itself, it is called as recursion. It is just like talking to itself using the mirror that is called as recursion. So, let us see how can we implement operation of stack using pointer. So, this is the code where I implemented all the operation of stack using pointer. Total there are 161 lines are there. Let us run the program. As you can see onto the screen, there are no syntactical errors are there. Let us execute the code output is similar like a previous one. There is a menu where option number 1 is push, option number 2 is pop, option number 3 is pip, option number 4 is update, option number 5 is display. Here I have written print but it is display and option number 6 is exit. So, let us select option number 1. Push operation is selected. Suppose I am inserting values in array that is 2, then 4, then 3, then 0 and 9. Now, suppose I am selecting option number 5. What it displays? It displays all the value which has been it display all the value which is stored inside the one dimensional array that is 2, 4, 3, 0 and 9. Let us rerun the code. Let me again enter the values. So, these are the list of values 2905 and 7 press enter.
push operation is terminated now suppose i am selecting pop operation so whatever the last value i have inserted that is called as 9 it's going to be pop say for example suppose i print the values you can see that there are now only four values are there that is 2 0 3 and 7 9 has been removed from the list of stack same like that i can perform the third operation that is called as pip so let's select operation number 3 then it asks for the location suppose i am entering the location number 2 so on location number 2 value which i have stored is 0 let's again select option number 3 and let me enter location number 1 so on first location i have entered the value called 2 now let's go for option number 4 enter the number of information which you want to update that means enter the location which you want to update suppose i am entering location number 1 where i have stored the value called 2 i am replacing 2 with 6 and let's print the same so 6 is replaced on location number 2 and you can see 6 is there on a top of the stack whenever i press enter it get exit so there is a one difference between the previous program and this current program the difference is that whenever we select the print operation it terminates the code while previous program continues till you will not press an exit operation so let's see how can we design this particular program this is the code definition would be like this write a program to implement operation of stack using pointer write a program to implement operation of stack using pointer now what will be the structure of pointer after writing these two necessary function called standard input output dot h and console input output dot h here i have used dynamic memory allocation function called malloc dot h then there is a one structure the name of that structure is stack that structure contains three members member number one is info of integer type rest two members are pointer next then i have declared the dummy name of this structure is a node if you remember the structure concept in programming in c then at that particular time after writing the variables in stack we need to redeclare it with a new name for getting used into the word main statement so this stack structure is used as a node in my void main statement then i have set the pointer variable called has at a first position called null then i have declared this 5 udf which contains the type called function without argument without return value the name of functions are push pop peep update and print or you can say display in the void main statement 
there is a local variable called choice and do statement print our menu onto the screen where the option number 1 is push option number 2 is pop option number 3 is pip option number 4 is update option number 5 is print and the last option is exit then there is a choice where we have to select a specific operation suppose over here user selects option number 1 this st switch statement selects case number 1 and called the function called and function call will be occur over here that is called as push in a push operation a one local variable i have declared that is called as val it is for value then it is created a one uh, then it is created as a node that means it is created as a one location so node pointer new node print f enter the value whatever the value that i enter stores inside the variable called val suppose i am entering the first value which is called as 2 blank location is created value has been accepted but whether this particular value is fit to store in this location or not that should be decided by counting the size of node so there is a logical line called new node equals to node pointer malloc size of node will count the total number of size once this node is ready to accept the value which has been entered by the user then by writing this line called new node reference info equals to value that means whenever the node is created it consists of two things one is the value and another is the reference because pointer points to the address not to the value this is the definition of pointer which should be satisfied over here so first value is stored inside the variable called info and then the reference of that node is given as a first reference that is called as null during this there might be an exception that stack is full or stack is empty so that should be handled by this if statement otherwise it continues of adding new node into the stack operation called push and it will store the user's value same like that the another option is pop which extracts the value from the node so whenever the pop operation is get called it checks for the exception called underflow if this condition is false else statement is going to be executed in this else statement it displays value popped and shows the informative part of that header by fetching the value from header like head reference to the info and stored inside the temporary variable and goes into the next location and this function delete that temporary value from the stack that means it release the memory which has been occupied by the node which hold the user's first value now suppose user selects operation number 3 called pip pip function is selected where it ask for the location which you want to view if that location is less than the total number of size program get terminated otherwise each it search for the location which is available into the stack by this particular while loop once that location is founded this printf statement prints the information of that node onto the screen that means the value is going to be print onto the screen similar like that update operation works where first the location is founded 
if that location is less than 0 and greater than the total number of element it shows relevant error messages onto the screen like stack is overflow and underflow otherwise if everything is okay that means the location which you have entered is available into the list then it asks for the new value whatever the new value that you enters is going to be replaced with the old value and program returns into the main menu so in this way the entire program works this is a very complicated program this type of program cannot be asked into the examination but this is just for your reference as this possibility as this option number two is available which we can implement but i request all the students just to focus an implementation of stack and their operation using array but still i will give you some time to write down this particular program for your reference just pause your video and write down all the selected lines sorry just pause the video and write down all the selected number of lines. Fine. Again pause the video and write down the selected number of lines. Again pause the video and write down this push operation. Again pause the video and write down this pop operation. Again pause the video and write down this peep operation. Pause the video and write down this update operation. And lastly, go for this print operation. So again I would like to give the difference between these two program. The first program and the second program is same as far as the functionality is concerned. But they have implemented through the two different concepts. First program is implemented through the concept of array which consists of fixed size. And second is implemented through the concept of pointer which is dynamic second is little bit complicated first one is easy to understand as well as easy to implement so that was all about today's lecture in our next lecture we'll go for the concept of q that means first we'll discuss about the theoretical portion of q and then we'll implement the operation of q 
देर आर टोटल थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ क्यू वी हैव टू डिस्कस सिंपल क्यू विच इज सिलेक्टेड देन सर्क्यूलर क्यू एंड द डबल एंडेड क्यू द डबल एंडेड क्यू शुड बी द प्रायोरिटी क्यू सो थ्री क्यू थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ क्यू वी हैव टू डिस्कस सिंपल सर्क्यूलर एंड प्रायोरिटी बेज डबल एंडेड क्यू बट दैट वी विल डिस्कस इन अवर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर टिल दैट थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर लिसनिंग मी एंड हैव अ नाइस डे